Hey everybody, welcome back. We uh, just took care of Afra's request uh, for the potion, but we ended up telling her the truth about the fact that it m probably isn't going to do what she wants. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to pa pan out, but what is this? Oh, this is the Kolsk that we've been hearing about. Okay, hold sir, but a moment. A hooded man waits upon the road, clad in a green cloak. He strides forward to meet you as you approach. At a closer distance, his features are revealed for those of a younger man, though lined with weariness. He appears to be favoring his left leg as he walks, and there is a dark stain upon the fabric of his trousers under the knee. Okay. Even so, he greets you with a polite bow. It seems that you have done dear Afra a great service. Oh no. The man nods towards the nearby house. Anslug's compass is a dangerous place, and yet you are willing to venture there to help her. Gildavale needs such courage in these dark times. Stout heart, willing to do what is necessary to save these people. Can I count you among that number? <laughs> and who are you exactly? Only a man determined to see Gildavale restored to its former glory. There was a time, stranger, when Gildavale was worthy of its name. The wheat shone like gold on the hills, and the village's people lived well. I don't know about the golden crops, but there were less flies anyway. And what has become of it now? Whatever has caused the blight upon our lands, it is not the fault of its people. Redrick looks to punish us for crimes we have not committed, and in turn, he is blind to his own. I am not, and he will pay for what he has done. I, Kolsk, swear it by the flame. Like many tyrants, he, was surra he surrounded himself... Or he has surrounded himself with stronger men and women for fear of retribution. And so you are warned. If you would press on despite that, however, I wonder if we might not help one another. Hmm... What is it that you're looking... Oh, I wonder if he would come with us. I sorely wish I could, but I would only hinder you further. One of Redrick's lick spittles slipped a dagger in my leg before he fell. May he be half so lucky in the next life. Glass down his wound, but it is not the leg which pains me. We have lost too many to Redrick's defenses. That is why I would turn to you now for assistance. And what do you want me to do exactly? Let's just, let's lie to him. Yeah, I'm a very helpful person. It is a grim task that I ask of you, but I assure you there's no other option. Lord Redrick must be stopped. Too long has Gilded Vale suffered under Redrick's madness. He would cure Wadewin's legacy by ensuring that there are none alive in this village to be afflicted. I fear for his wife, Egrid, might be, may be at risk. The man has no mercy in him. We have not stood idle. My people and I breached the defenses, intent on ending Redrick's rule ourselves. We entered through the sewers under cover of night, but we were routed. There are dark creatures down there in the dungeons. The work of Redrick's Animancer. It falls to you, Lord Redrick. Or it falls to you. Lord Redrick has called for further reinforcements, and soon there will be no stopping him. Our time grows short, and in this hour, I must beg assistance where I can. <laughs> You're gonna owe us more than some rubble-strewn plot of land after this. Fling him from the ramparts, or else cut his head from his shoulders. I care not. Once his throne lies empty, Gilded Vale will have the stewardship that it deserves. Oh my god. I mean, nobody seems to like this guy. Redrick. We either do it or we don't. And I'm a man of doing. Then I commend you on your courage and thank you for your assistance. But I would not send you onward without due warning, of course. Redrick's hold is crawling with soldiers and cell swords, all loyal to Redrick. They will not take kindly to intruders. In truth, they will all be the more alert for our failed efforts. A frontal assault would be unwise. If you would brave it, you could follow our steps and seek out the entrance to the sewers at the eastern edge of the moat. But several of my men were captured. It may be the entrance has been found and sealed anew. Okay. Those men were under my command. I would be in your debt if you found some means of helping them. Once you make it inside, seek out my old friend Nedmar. He is the high priest, Baratheon. Uh, he is the high priest, Baratheon, now that the shining god has fallen. A good man in difficult circumstances. He will listen to reason. Durant's chortles nearly choking on his own disdain. Shining god, he never shone so brightly as when the bomb took him. The moniker is obsolete now. Ash does not shine. It's like if someone was to call you the attractive priest, Durance. Finally, somebody said it. Nedmar can help you reach Redrick, but he resides in the upper level of Redrick's hold, protected by guards and mercenaries. You'll have to keep to the shadows if you mean to reach him without alarming the keep. Ah. Okay. 
Hmm. There is no sense in wasting resources if it isn't necessary. I'll keep your advice in mind. Which means this might be a solo project. For Gloom. Spoken like a tactician. Keep your wits about you and I'm sure you'll prove the victor. You'll find Redrick's hold to the east, past the est eastern wood. I await word of your success. Travel to Redrick's hold. Okay. So... Where exactly... So this is to the east? Guild of Vale is ruled by Lord Redrick, who resides in the keep beyond the Esternwood. With the Drywood in the grip, or with Deerwood in the grip of the curse known as Wedwin's Legacy, he has resorted to harsh measures in order to root out the cause. It has made him enemies, many of whom would see him removed from power. Um, Kulsk believes that a frontal... Uh, the keep lies east of the Esternwood and will not, and will be heavily defended. Kulk believes that a frontal assault upon the keep would be impossible. He says I attempt to find my way into the sewers at the eastern edge of the moat. Maybe be able to find some way to access the upper floor of the castle where Nedmir Kolsk's contact reside. So this is... I can either go in through the sewers or try to find some way to access the upper floor. But maybe I have to go from the sewers to the upper floor. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but we would have to head east in order to do this. And that's something we will do. Um, but... It's going to have to wait for a, just a tad longer. So we've got six points to invest. Um, I'm thinking, you know, based on what we just learned, stealth is probably not a bad option. Um, do one in stealth and... Now, I have heard that potentially these points, um, we cannot s save them. Somebody said they weren't sure, but it's possible. Um, uh, which totally freaks me out. So I'm, I'm hesitant to hold on to them. Let's see. We do have some new powers that we can choose. Maybe Mind Blades. Uh, Slashing Blade of Force that attacks them before leaping onto five additional targets. I like that. I like that. Vampiric Shield, stealing a portion of its resolve in order to better deflect incoming attacks. Recall Agony, causes the target to relive the psychic trauma of an injury moments after receiving it, experiencing the damage all over. 30% um, of all damage reapplied. Of all damage. That's pretty good. Violently pushing them backwards. So it bounces psychic energy harmlessly off the target and onto the closest nearby enemy. That's a weird thing to deal with. I like Mind Blades. 20 to 29 slash and then faux jump targets 20 to 32 slash. It's really good. I'm going to go ahead and take that. And then in terms of some talents. Um, Biting Whip. Modify Soul Whip, which would be nice. Gain more focus. Uh, invokes a retaliatory... Or Strike, stunning an enemy whenever they target the Cypher's will defense. It's very specific. And greater focus. Uh, plus 10 max focus. Which isn't bad either. But I think I'm going to go with Biting Whip currently. Now we'll have to see... If, uh... The next time, if we're going to have those skills left over... Because we had, what, three of them? Alright, let's go here into... Athletics. I'm just gonna max out Athletics as much as I can. Minus 90% combat fa fatigue. If we need to climb anything, he's gonna be our man. Oh, bonus knockdown could be good. Grants the fighter an additional use of knockdown per encounter, so that would be three. Or Wary Defender. Uh, increases the fighter's awareness while in defender mode, granting a bonus to all defenses. Ooh, that's good too. I'm gonna go ahead and take Weary Defender. Alright. 
Hey. He doesn't need to have that active All right, right now. then. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go to... Um... Marewald, because Edders agreed to travel with us, but he seemed to have some questions he thought a Watcher might be able to answer. Uh, so after telling... Edder, that I was headed to Kainua to see its lord, an old watcher named Merwald. He expressed that there were some things he'd like to ask Merwald as well. So let's go ahead and uh, try and head out here. Um, let's go to the road to the east, just to see if we can get a, a grip on exactly where the keep is. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I really just wanted him to say it. Okay, so there is. So Esternwood's just over here, which means the keep is probably right about here. Um, we could go to Esternwood, but I'm going to head to Kednua, actually. For some reason, I can't. I probably have to go to Black Meadow and then to Kednua. Right, because we haven't actually... Okay. So we can't travel through something that we haven't experienced yet. That makes sense. Margarine's fire casts light in dark places. Yes, thank you, Durance. I don't know if it's... Whoa! Oh, shh! A forest... Tr oh, multiple forest trolls. Okay. Oh, look at his health now. I'm happy about it. Okay, go ahead. Let's go ahead and just start doing work here. It seems to be doing okay. Let's hit these both. Go ahead and toss another one of these. Now that you're free, well, let's toss another one. Why not? Beautiful. So, another thing that somebody was teaching me... <laughs> I learned a lot from, from you guys, by the way, in the comments. And there's not a lot of comments on the videos, but the ones that are have been pretty helpful. Like this bestiary progress. So... From what I understand now, I thought in the past that it was only counting towards bestiary progress, but not actually our party experience. And, um, somebody was saying that that's not necessarily true. Like, that 130 out of 540 that we earned, we'll earn experience up until that 540, because we're learning about the enemy and it impacts our party. Uh, but after that, if you kill a whole bunch of forest trolls, you don't get experience. So it kind of prohibits farming, which I am a huge... I think that's amazing. Okay. What do we want to do for Aleth? I'm thinking... Let's just... We're basically creating experts. So, I'm happy about that. But there's so many spells. There's a couple of really good ones, though. This rolling flame looks interesting. Rebounding ball of fire. Sounds awesome. Heavy fog. Um, but the ball of fire thing could be difficult to control. And could hurt us as well, but... We could maybe just be careful. Let's try it. And also, a bonus first level spell. Oh, it's an extra spell cast of first level. That would actually probably be great. Two per rest, one per encounter. Grimoire Slam. Allows the word to smash an enemy with a grimoire, energized with spiritual energy, causing large damage and knocking the target back. Okay, we could use that every encounter. I'm a fan of that. Concentrates the power of blast, negating some of the target's damage reduction. Hmm. Tough. Tough, tough. Let's go ahead and take Grimoire Slam for now. Sure. Okay. I do wonder, though, if maybe in the encyclopedia... Or the Cyclopedia. If we have... Anything on... I don't think so. 
I really would like to figure out if those skill points carry over. Steady does it. All right, let's stay to the path on the north here. Let's go ahead and let everybody grab formation. Not a bad haul today. Watch the road, Willem. I'm itching to try out the new blade. Uh huh. Oh, he's gonna get caught. No, he isn't. Okay, hold on. You know what? Since we might get caught out here, I'm gonna try to just attack him. Maybe we don't have the option. We can't just attack. We have to initiate first. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you go ahead and you go ahead. Everybody else for now, just attack. We could try maybe knock him back. Not bad. I'm happy that that counted as one encounter. Leather armor, the daggers are all the same. Let's make sure... Yeah, 10 to 16, they're all the same. And what does the flame reveal? <clears throat> why, why are we going so close? Oh my god. Oh, we switched over. I did it again. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to run away. Oh, he's getting furious. Okay, okay. let's throw on the defenses here. And let's try and bring Gloom up this direction, since there's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Let's give this a shot, shall we? Bandit leader's almost dead. Let's go on him. Nice. That was huge. I'm digging the Grimoire Slam. It's a great name, too. Really great name. Uh, none of this is really that great for us. Ripple Sponge. Max Endurance for 600 seconds. We do have quite a few of these just random items that we could use. Sharp eyes and keen Hello. Ears. Let's give him the scrolls. What's this? Shipment crate. This battered and heavy crate has been pried open at one corner, but its contents remain within. There's a painted hammer and anvil on the side of it, alongside the words Black Hammer Smithery. Interesting. Tattered note. I need you to deliver our hall for Kern to sell. He will not speak to you unless you know the words. Ik Nibion Elfiond. He's only found in the gift after dark. What? I don't suppose that we could use the, um... Oh, look at this. It's right here. Can we not... move between... So we can do that. But these we can't move, so that means we must have to figure them out somewhere else. Oh, that's a lot of money. Okay, let's keep going. Look at these bones. We saw dragon skulls. Oh, that's a full, like, that's a full dragon almost. It's amazing. Okay, Forest Troll, let's go ahead. 
Let's just have everybody else attack. He's a strong guy. Actually kind of impressed. I shall be discreet. All right, so that's kind of the top and middle areas. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know what these things are. I can see what they are. I don't know that we want to fight them. Oh, damn, damn, move. Nope. Okay. This is gonna be dirty. Let's go ahead and just get everybody firing. Alright. Grimoire Slam? we could do actually is we could try and take the big one we'll keep his stuff did we do the grim oh the grimoire slam wasn't that cool okay so we got him which is great so let's get uh, Aloth out of there. And then we'll have everybody else just attack. Good work, team. Good work. Steady does it. Now, is this a camp, potentially? There's no fire. Now here's something. Oh, we got something hidden here. What kind of bow was that? Fine war bow, 17 to 27 damage and its average speed. That might be worth taking a look at for us. Very slow versus average, and this is 17 to 25. So I imagine... Let's see. Let's tr we can try it out. There's no harm. Nice. Okay, Potion of Power, Bloodstone... Now, there was a point where I thought, like, we have maximum camping supplies right now, right? So if I grab those... This will confirm... Yeah, we just lose them. That's such a bummer. So, next time we won't pick those up. But that's, that's confirming it for me now, because we thought so last time. Spare bedrolls laid out in this tent, but there is no other sign of kith. Um... Next time, we'll just use a camping supply, because it would make sense that we don't want to just run out. Oh, look at this. The overturned cart bristles with crossbow bolts, blood stains, darken the cracked wooden slats. So yeah, you're, you're maxed out at the four, and then uh, if that happens, and you pick up an extra, it just disappears. That just happened. Oh, I always 
choose one as, like, us for some reason. Let's go ahead and try and knock him down again. Go and throw the book at him. These things. Oh no, now we have to fight. Well, here's our chance to figure out how strong they are. Okay, now that they're all grouped, this should be okay. We could probably dish out a ton of damage here. Let's go ahead and check out some of these options. Speed of all enemies in the affected area. Increasing the might and resolve of allies. Retribution. Suppress affliction. Let's go into these ones. A target. I want like a group area. Steals the minds of allies in the area of effect against all external fears, granting bonus resistance. I like this for allies as well. I guess just the fear, uh, fear one would work, or instill doubt. Let's reduce the speed. And then let's grab, let's try mind blades here. Mind blades, baby. <laughs> that's a yeah. That's a nice pickup for sure. Hmm. Indeed. Okay, so we could probably take out that other group if we really wanted to. Ah, some nice boots. Oh, this is Falvano. Or no, this is his friend. He talked about giving the boots. Right. Let's go ahead and grab the boots here, put the rest into storage. Constitution plus one, yeah, I mean, that would be great. We don't even have boots on, somehow. Keeping an eye out. Okay, let's just go on him here. Nice, and these guys got levels. Okay. So she's getting six, um... It's tough because I'm already good in a couple of these areas. Athletics doesn't hurt. Maybe survival as well. She could be our kind of survival expert. Let's do that. Now we have a couple of things. Dirty fighting, underhanded tactics, turning some of her hits into critical hits. I don't mind that at all. Last resort to break engagement and expertly avoid the next attack, diving out of range to a specific location once per encounter. So that could be good too. Get her out of range and not have to take the engagement disconnect bonus or uh, penalty. It's like extra damage and blinds the target. Hmm. I like 10% of hits converted to crits. I'm gonna take that for now. 
keeping an eye out. Okay, let's go here. Standard approach, guys. Literally sliced and or diced. All this like disgusting troll skin. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with all of it. Hi. Whoa! Oh, that's big. I thought it was a tree. All right. Let's throw on the defender. You know what, actually, let's try and take this other one. Whoa! Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Yeah, she is down. Hard. Did we- Oh, we got him! That's huge! Okay. Gonna have to really watch some of these healing spells. We sure didn't keep them for long, but they are missing a lot, and now we're not shooting anything. Let's go ahead and cast some of his stuff. Strikes fear into the hearts of the unworthy. Penalty to accuracy, which they're already pretty low on. Oh. Aleth, I would really like if you started doing stuff here. Okay, um, we need healing. Let's go ahead and go with these two. We need you to go ahead and cast that, thank you. Okay, Aleth, I do not want you to be engaged on here. use what we have. This is a little bit dicier than I'd like to be. Lava will be on seek. Okay, beautiful. Not doing a lot, that's for sure. Let's go magic missiles. Lava will be on seek. Okay, and now we need more heals. Good. Yeah, those flames are beautiful. You know what, let's go ahead and use our wave as well. Perhaps a little rest is in order. Whew. Okay. And we just get wood. Alright, typical. 
I'll see what I can find. Trees and shrubs have grown up around these ancient bones, shrouding the monument to Galloway beneath their leaves. Well, sometimes it pays off to explore, sometimes it doesn't. I think we've pretty much covered it. So let's go now. Hopefully there's an inn at you this place. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Well, what's she doing? Kadnua. Beautiful, okay. Now we can enter the keep. And, uh, we do need to look for the individual named Merwald. So, uh, that's who we're gonna go find when we come back. Thanks, guys, very much for watching. I'm hoping they have an inn here. And what gives me hope that they do is, like, this place seems substantial, you know? Um, looks like almost a city. S similar to Gilded Vale, I guess, but, um... I'm hoping, but the music is giving me pause. I'm a bit concerned. We can level up, um, Durance here, so we should probably do that. Um, let's go into lore and maybe a bit of athletics. Then, Inspiring Radiance, allies gain an accuracy bonus. Everyone receives less healing from the priest's holy radiance, but the <laughs> uh, but the priest gains a bonus to all attributes and movement. Movement. I don't know why I said it like that. Inspired flame. The faithful of Magrin gain an accuracy bonus with sorting arquebus. Interdiction condemns the priest's foes, dazing any enemies in the area of effect. I like that. Enemies take burn damage from the priest's holy radiance. Uh, vessels take increased burn damage. Hmm. I think interdiction sounds good. Okay. So, uh, wish me luck, guys. We're heading in here. I'm hoping things are going to work out in our favor. But, um, I'm not sure if this is going to be safe or if we're going to get attacked because it sounds like we might get attacked. But we'll find out soon. We'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.